Hello guys, welcome to the Future Internet Cafe. My name is Catherine and in today's video we are going to look at how to apply for Nairobi Water Connection. Labdo menunua shamba hapo Nairobi County somewhere, umejenga and you want Nairobi Water in your company. Maybe you are doing construction, maybe umejenga nyumba za biashara za kurentisha and unataka Nairobi Water Connection, okay? So go to your browser, search for Nairobi Water or you can just write NCWC, Nairobi City Water and Sewerage Company. So choose from the three options. You can either go home, click on the self-care portal or go to the portal. The portal is the fastest way. Okay, so if you choose to go home, this is what you're going to see. You can click on apply for new connection. And if you choose self-care portal, this is what you're going to see. So click on visit online portal. And the portal will open. This is how it looks like. So the first step is to register. If you have not yet registered, click on register. Uh, please note that this is very important. Use an email address that you have access to because documents will be sent to that email as well as other information. Also, use a mobile number that you have access to because a code will be sent during your registration. So otherwise, enter all the details as they apply to you. All fields are mandatory, first name, last name, email address, confirm your email address, enter your mobile number, password, and confirm password. Make sure you choose a password that you can easily remember. Also, click on confirm that you're not a robot, then click on register. So once you click on register, it's going to send a one-time password OTP to your phone. So check your phone, then enter the OTP. Confirm that you're not a robot, then click on confirm OTP. Okay, you'll get a message that you have your OTP has been confirmed. This means that your account has been successfully registered or created. So enter the email you registered with and the password that you chose. Confirm that you're not a robot, then click on login. Okay, so once you log in, this is what you're going to see. Click on water sewer application. Okay, so read the instructions before you proceed so that you can know what documents are required from you if you are an individual or what documents are required from you if you are a company. Okay, Okay, so click on apply water or sewer once you have read all the instructions. Okay, so step one when you're applying for water is to enter customer details, name or company name if it's an organization. So enter the last name or the company name and other names. So all the fields are required. Once you're done, click on next. Okay, so this tutorial was for an individual. So the next step, enter your KRA pin, your national ID, and any other identification. If it applies to you, that part is optional. So once you're done, click on next. So the third step is to enter the contact information. Make sure you fill all the fields that are written required, the ones with an asterisk. But for all fields that are written optional, those are optional. That means you don't have to put any data. So once you're done, click on next. Step four is to enter alternate contact person details. In case you're not available and they want to reach you, who else can they reach, okay? So enter their name, their email address, and their postal address, then click on next. Step five is to enter supply details. Make sure you enter the correct details as they apply to you, okay? Enter your estate, your plot number. This is as it appears on your land certificate or this land document. Okay, the street is optional, the house number is optional, the floor is optional, and new premise is optional. So the only thing you are required to enter here is the estate name and the plot number, then click on next. The next stage is to choose the type of supply. Do you want water only, sewer only, or water and sewer? This is for a completed building, or is your building under construction? You want water only, sewer only, or water and sewer. So choose the one that applies to you. So after you choose, choose the activity type by clicking on select activity type. So activity type means what type of a building is your building? Is it just a normal home for you and your family? Is it a commercial space? Is it a warehouse? Is it a hotel? Is it a shopping mall, stadium, supermarket, church, mosque? 
So choose as it applies to you. The difference is depending on what your activity type is, the amount you're supposed to pay will be different, okay? Depending on your activity type. So scroll through the activity type and choose the one that applies to you. But for a normal single dwelling unit, this is someone maybe I'm in a shamba na mezenga kanyumba na nataka maji kwake and ishi peke yake ama yeyena familia yake. So in that case, you can choose normal single dwelling unit, okay? Once you choose the activity type, the total cost of connection will automatically display. So this is for a single dwelling unit, just a domestic home, just a normal domestic home, okay? So once you're done with that, click on next. The next step is to choose the location of your water connection on the map, okay? So just drag the map around to see different locations so that you can see your location and zoom in and zoom out so that you can be specific to where Penye Majiako in a letter, okay? Once you have identified your location, left click to choose the location. Um, that red diamond or star, whatever it is, uh, will appear on the location that you have chosen. Also, if the location is available for a water connection, it will say that application has been accepted. But if it tells you that application has been rejected, it means that there is no piping for water in that area. So make sure you choose your location well on the map, okay? So if it tells you that application has been rejected, you likely chose the wrong location or Nairobi water piping and connection is not yet in your area, okay? So once you have chosen the correct location and the application has been accepted, click on next. It's going to tell you to preview and counter check your details before you submit. This is a very important step because you cannot edit your details once you have already submitted them. So go through them carefully, make sure that every information is correct to your knowledge. So once you have done that, read their terms and conditions and then agree to them, then click on submit details. And congratulations, your application has been submitted. So the next step is to make the payment for your water connection, okay? So you'll get that um, notification there on top. The, the green one is telling you thank you for your application. This means that your application has been submitted and you can now pay for the connection. Also, the other one is to tell you that you need to download, fill and print and scan the form that will be sent to your email for the connection, okay? Without that form, your water connection will be rejected. So this is why I was saying that it's very important to use an email address that, that you can access, okay? So go to your email and you'll see an email from Nairobi Water with the form that you're supposed to download, print, fill, sign, and upload back to the portal, okay? So in order to pay for the connection, you first need to pay for the connection before you upload your documents, okay? This is very important. So. To pay for the connection, dial star triple eight hash on your mobile phone, choose option six, then select pay for connection slash deposit fees, input your reference number. This reference number has been sent to you via SMS and it's also on your email to the form that you're supposed to print and upload. So the reference number is specific to your application. Make sure you enter the correct one. After you enter your reference number, it's going to show you the amount that you're supposed to pay. Confirm that you want to pay and then an Mpesa pop-up will come up. Just enter your PIN and you receive a message from Nairobi Water telling you that they have accepted or rather they have received your payment for your connection, okay? So the email that tells you how to pay also has the form that you're supposed to print, fill, download, and scan again, then upload to the portal. As you can see there, it's NCWSC water application form. So download it, then print it, because you need to sign it, okay? So this is how the form looks like. It only has four pages. The first page is the cover page for Nairobi Water. The second page is where it has your customer details and it's also where you're supposed to sign. As you can see on the first part, it says IV owner occupier is required to hereby apply for water only. So that is where you're supposed to input your signature and then date. The second part is only applicable if the tenant is applying on behalf of the landlord, okay? So if it's your own connection, nyumba niyako, 
shamba ni yako ni umejijengea ni umejiapply you are only supposed to sign the first part but if you are applying as a tenant on behalf of your landlord then you are supposed to sign the second part and their landlord has to show that they have agreed to the you applying on their behalf so the second part is only applicable where the tenant is applying on behalf of the landlord okay so page three has further conditions of supply you can read through them also the part where is red i have circled with red you are supposed to write any account numbers that you are paying for maybe you can upload it kaza in nairobi county na unalipanga maji okay so hapo unaweka mita namba ya hizo plot zote zenye unalipanga maji but if you don't have any then you're not supposed to fill anything on that part okay Okay so page 4 is customer obligation again on this page you're supposed to sign enter your signature and the date that is the date you are making your application you are also required to sketch the location of your water connection you can start from the nearest main road assuming it's Kayole junction Nairobi county along Kangundo road so you can start from Kangundo road then Kayole junction then your home so just draw a map that shows where your location is okay also once you make your payment you are going to receive a receipt in your email so the email that you used to register okay that's why i said you should use an email that you can easily access so go to your email download your receipt and print a copy okay so you have successfully submitted your application you downloaded the form printed it signed where you are required to sign and drew a map to your water connection location so the next step is to upload your application and please note that you need to pay first before you upload your application so once you have done all that come and click on upload application make sure you read all the terms and conditions for you to upload your application such as size number no pdf should be more than 2 mb so that is very important maximum size for every file is 2 mb okay so make sure you shrink your documents scan with the lowest resolution okay so once you have done all that come choose the application number so all the files that are written mandatory are mandatory so the water application upload this is the form that you downloaded and printed and you have scanned it you're supposed to upload it there upload your kra pin that is mandatory upload your plot or allotment or land ownership document that is mandatory upload your national id this is for individuals for a company of course it's not required upload a passport photo this is mandatory for individuals okay and the rest for those who want uh, connection maybe for a building that is under construction so this is why i said it's very important to read the instructions before you proceed with the application so that you can know what documents will be required based on your condition so once you have uploaded all the files click on upload To confirm that your upload was received successfully, click on track application and you'll see your upload there, the application number, the date it has been submitted and the status. It should state there that it has already been received by Nairobi City Water and Sewerage Company and the payment status should read paid. Congratulations, you receive an email from Nairobi Water telling you that they have received your application. They also indicate when they are supposed to work on it and how you can reach them. So congrats, you have successfully applied for Nairobi Water Connection to your home area or commercial space. My name is Catherine and I have been your guide throughout today's video. If you find our videos helpful, please subscribe and share, like, or if you have any questions, leave us a comment. Until next time, bye bye.